speak in vain, no syllable empty or void. For once you have spoken, all nature and science follow the sound of your voice. And as you speak,
He told me to do it. Ready, Yep, I'm ready. Does he have it so far? No, we lost one so far. Oh. I don't know if CC. You want to use this one? You can use that one. Huh? It's the same as the same one. I have the same one.
in your word name. Amen. They're coming. So, I honor and respect and I've been very thankful because I have the gift of three kids. Yo estoy muy honrada y muy feliz y muy bendecida por tener tres hijos. Por lo tanto, quiero que ellos oren por mí antes de que yo vaya a dar uh, una enseñanza como en forma de honrar a mi padre, que es lo que él me ha dado, tres hijos. So, for honor to my father, I want them to pray for me before I give the teaching. So, come kids and pray for mama. Bless me. One by one, please. So, ellos van a orar por mí y va a ser de uno por uno. Feels so good to be out here. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. El día de hoy tenemos la oportunidad. Today, um, today we have the 
big opportunity de mostrar un estudio que no lo hecho en los encargó hacer el día de hoy. To show the Bible study that the brother John asked us to do for today. Al respecto de la porción de la Torah llamada Bayetza. Uh, meaning with the subject of the Torah portion for this week, such the name is Bayetze. Una de las cosas que me llamó la atención. One of the things that it got my attention. Es lo que estuvo viviendo Jacob en el capítulo 28 días de Génesis. It was what it was leading Jacob on Genesis 28:10. Eh, empezando a de esto por un sueño que él tuvo. This one he was talking about a dream. Donde él observaba una escalera que iba hasta el cielo y veía ángeles que subían y ángeles que descendían. When he was looking at stairs, there was angels going up and going down. Um, la representación de esta escalera para mí es Yeshua. The representation of the stairs are Yeshua. Y la razón por la que digo esto la podemos encontrar en Efesios 4, 7 al 10. And the reason that why we can find this, what I am saying, is because we can find it in uh, Ephesians eh, 4, 7 al 10. 4 to 7 to 10. Dice lo siguiente, pero a cada uno de nosotros fue dada la gracia conforme a la medida del don de Cristo, por lo cual dice, subiendo a lo alto, llevó cautiva la cautividad y dio dones a los hombres. Y eso de que subió, ¿qué es sino que también había descendido? Primero a las partes más bajas de la tierra. El que descendió es el mismo que también subió por encima de todos los cielos para llenarlo todo. Ah. Each of one of us, I have a different type of Bible, so if somebody, is, if it says something different, please um, can share uh, what it says different. I have another type of Bible, and it's the Jewish complete Bible, so it will say something a little more specific. Each of one of us, however, has been given grace to be measured by the Messiah bounty. This is why it says, after he went up into the heights and led captivity captive, and he gave gifts to mankind. Now in this phrase, he went up, what can it mean if no one that he first went down into the lowest part, that is in the earth? The one who went down is himself, the one who also went up, far above all of heaven, in order to fill all the things. Podemos darnos cuenta que un evento tan fuerte como este, que fue encontrarse cara a cara con su creador en ese sueño. Eh, we can uh, understand and see the, this moment and this dream to find face to face with his creator and this dream. Es de gran regocijo darnos cuenta nosotros que es, este yeah, sorry, is to feel and have a big rejoice. Que este sueño representa a Yeshua. That this dream represents Yeshua. Y también se representa en la roca. And also it represents in the rock. Y también se hace presente en la puerta. And also it represents in the door. Y todos estos son uh, atributos de nuestro Yeshua. And all these are attributes of our Yeshua. Si vamos a los Salmos, capítulo 71, 3. If we go into the Psalms, uh, chapter 71.3, 73, 71.3, 71.3, 71.3, was it, 71.3.
Ahí dice que es la roca de nuestro refugio. There says that he is the rock of our refuge. Sé para mí una roca de refugio a donde recurra yo continuamente. Tú has dado un mandamiento para salvarme porque tú eres mi roca y mi fortaleza. I'm going to read it. Uh, be for me a sheltering rock where I can always come. You have determined to save me because you are my bedrock and my stronghold. En Corintios 10, verso 4. And Corinthians 10, 10 4. The first or second? First Corinthians. First Corinthians 10. 10 4. This is because la roca que da agua. It says that he is the rock of giving water. Y todos bebieron la misma bebida espiritual porque bebían de la roca espiritual que los seguía y la roca era Cristo. Hold on, I was reading something about Shaul, so I get Chronicles instead of uh, Corinthians. <laughs> Similars. <laughs> Want me to read? And did all the same spiritual drink, for they drank of the same spiritual rock, rock that followed them, and that rock was Messiah, Zisha. Ahora leemos en Deuteronomio 32, 18. And now we read in Deuteronomio uh, 32, 18. 32, 18. Oh, 32, 18. Dice que es la roca que nos creó. He says that he is the rock he made us. De la roca que te creó te olvidaste. Te has olvidado de tu Dios, tu creador. Mm -hmm. And they will lay in the cloth before. Are you sure the original? 32. Oh, 32. Well, 32. Yeah, yeah, 30, yeah, I was like, hold on, it says something about of the that. rock that he gave you. Yeah. <laughs> and it says, you ignored the rock who fathered you. You forgot God who gave you birth. Mm. Podemos darnos cuenta que definitivamente en aquel momento cuando Jacob estaba durmiendo. We can see clearly when Jacob was sleeping. Su cabeza estaba reposando en la roca. He used the rock for sleep. ¿Quién es la roca? Who's the rock? The Messiah. Sure. The Messiah. Nuestros pensamientos tienen our, que estar reposando en nuestro Yeshua. Our thoughts, they have to be uh, resting on our Messiah. Wow. Esa es la puerta del cielo. That's the door of the heavens. Um, quiero leer otros versículos para, para hablar de la puerta. I want to read in another verses so I can speak about the door. En Juan capítulo 10 verso 9. In John capítulo 10 verso 9. John chapter 10 verses 9. Dice, yo soy la puerta, el que por mí entrare será salvo, y entrará y saldrá, y hallará pastos. I am the gate. If someone enters through me, he will be saved, and he will go and out and find his pasture. Eh, versículo 7. The verse 7. 
Volvió pues Jesús a decirles de cierto, de cierto digo, yo soy la puerta de las ovejas. So Yeshua said them to again, yes, indeed, I tell you that I am the gate of the sheep. Ephesians 2, 18. Ephesians 2, 18. This is interesting, a lot of Bible uh, movement. Sí. Porque por medio de él, los unos y los otros tenemos entrada por un mismo espíritu al Padre. Uh, news that through him we both have access to the Spirit of the Father. Mientras estaba leyendo estos versículos. While I was reading these verses, encontré un versículo muy especial y es hacia donde voy a dirigir mi enfoque. I found this verse very special and that's what I'm going to be paying attention and focus on. Hebreos 10:20. Hebrews 10:20. Vamos a leer desde el 19. We're going to start reading from the 19. Así que hermanos, teniendo libertad para entrar en el lugar santísimo por la sangre de Jesucristo, por el camino nuevo y vino y vivo que Él nos abrió a través del velo, esto es su carne. So brothers, we have confidence to use the way into the holiest place opened by the blood of Yeshua. He inaugurated for us a new living way through the parochet. Do you guys know what is a parochet in Hebrew? No. The veil. Okay, parochet it will be a veil. So my Bible has just don't translate it some words. <laughs> By means of his flesh. Para que esa puerta se abriera. So for that door be open. Cuando Jacob dijo que esta era la puerta del cielo. When Jacob says this is the door of the heavens. Está hablando del sacrificio de Yeshua. He was talking about the sacrifice of the Messiah. Esa es la razón por la que él declaró que aquel lugar era la puerta del cielo. That's mean why he declares that that place when he had the dream, it means the door of the heaven and in that place like that. That there. Si nosotros pensamos en las heridas de nuestro Yeshua, If we are thinking in the wounds of our Yeshua, y creemos en nuestro corazón, and we believe in our heart, que Él murió por nosotros, that He died for us, estamos haciendo el mismo acto que tuvo Jacob. We are doing the same act that Jacob did. Estamos observando como el mismo que descendió es el mismo que sube y el que nos da la victoria. We are seeing the same one that came down is the same that went up and the same one that gave us the victory. El que murió por nosotros. The one that he died for us. Es el que abrió la puerta para el cielo. Is the one that opens the door of the heavens. Por las heridas en su carne. For the wounds of his flesh. Esa era una de las observaciones que tenía um, para Jacob. This one it was one of the observations for Jacob. En cuanto al sueño que él tuvo. Meaning of his dream. En donde refuerzo la idea de que tenemos que purificar nuestros pensamientos de la forma que él lo purificó. Well, I am embracing the idea of we have to purify our thoughts and the way they, they Jacob purifies it through porque cuando estamos descansando nuestra mente en nuestro Yeshua, because when we are resting our minds on the Messiah, nuestra mente es purificada, our mind is purified, y somos capaces inclusive de ver la puerta para el cielo. And actually we can be able and capable to see the door for the Messiah. Um, Open for the Messiah. Ahora voy a, uh, perdón por el 
Now I'm going for something. I'm sorry because. Um, um, la forma que hice el estudio fue eh, enfocarme en el sueño de Jacob y de a mí me tenía que enfocar en algo que hizo Jacob. Ok, um, it's interesting because now I'm going to kind of swift a little bit because I was looking through what the dream that he had, but also I wanted to emphasize on something that Jacob did. Y hay una relación que espero poderla mostrar al final de la siguiente exposición. And I hope that I can show it and expose it um, really good after the, the way that I'm going to explain it. Eh, cuando Jacob estaba encontrándose con Raquel. Uh, the day that Jacob find out with Rachel. Podemos observar que hay un evento interesante en el que se menciona que él besa a Raquel y grita y llora. Uh, we can see that when he sees Rachel, he kisses her, cry and yells. <laughs> También podemos observar que él removió una roca de un pozo. And then we can see that he moved a rock from a well. Y definitivamente han habido muchos enfoques al respecto de estos eventos, pero me gustaría mostrar uno que que pude observar. So. A lot of people, they've been trying to explain and emphasize in different points, but I want to emphasize on something that probably I would like to... Me voy a poner los zapatos de Jacob. I'm going to put myself if I was Jacob. ¿Por qué le mueve la roca del pozo? ¿Por qué grita y, y llora cuando ves a Raquel? So why he moved the rock? and why he yells and cries when he kisses Rachel. Primero que todo, él se acerca a un grupo de pastores. Uh, for the beginning, he get closest to a, bon a lot of people uh, in their pastures. Y les pregunta de dónde son. And he asks them, where did you guys come from? Es interesante que al parecer Jacob estaba un poco perdido. It seems like he was a little bit lost because he was asking. Y, y al preguntar de dónde son, él ubica en dónde se encuentra. And at the time that when he was asking where you guys are, are from, is when he finds the location where he is at. Y pregunta inclusive por Levan para tener otros datos y asegurarse que es el lugar correcto. And also he asked for Levan to know if it's the precise place. De pronto, eh, observa una mujer muy hermosa. Suddenly he sees a really beautiful woman. Y esta es la forma en que yo lo veo. Él, él ve a, a una mujer muy hermosa y, y se enamora de ella a primera vista. This is the way I see it. He saw this woman, very beautiful, and he falls in love of her at the first sight. A tal punto at que point, trata de impresionarla. That he tried to impress her. Y mueve la roca, que tiene que ser una roca pesada porque está cubriendo un pozo. And to the point that he moves a big rock. That it was a heavy one. That it was covering a well. Entonces no solamente fue un caballero al ayudarla a ella para que vivieran sus, uh, sus ovejas. Uh, not only he was a gentleman to try to help her to, be, to give water to the sheep, her sheep sino que también le mostró que estaba fuerte. But also he showed up that he was strong. Y tal vez la piedra le cayó en el pie, por eso gritó yo. <laughs> and and he, he said that maybe the rock fell off and took his feet and that's why he cried and screamed. <laughs> that's funny. Um, cuando él se acerca a Raquel y la besa. When he get close to her and kiss her. El sentimiento de amor que él siente hacia ella es tan fuerte. The feeling of love that he has through Ra for Rachel is so strong. Que también de alguna manera el Señor le hace percibir lo que él va a sufrir para poder estar con ella. Uh, at the point that God shows them and make them feel how much he's going to suffer for her. Pienso que él gritó oh, wow. por amor. I think mm. that he yelled and screamed for love. Pero de alguna forma creo que también lloró 
no solo por alegría. And I think he he not only scream and cry because happiness. Sino porque como su pensamiento estaba purificado. Because he because his thoughts they're being purified. Tuvo la capacidad de percibir lo que iba a sufrir por su mujer. He had the capability to see how much he was going to suffer from his wife. No sabía de qué forma iba a sufrir. He didn't know how much he was or what it was the way that he was going to suffer for Rachel. Pero sintió sufrimiento. But he felt this suffering and the pain. Entonces, uh, trabaja después por ella siete años. And then he worked seven years for her. Ofrece trabajar siete años a Labán. He offers himself to work seven years to the dad of Rachel. Y Labán siendo un hombre astuto. And Labán being um, a little bit abused. <laughs> eh, se da cuenta que este hombre está enamorado de su hija. Um, Labán finds out that Jacob is really in love of Rachel. Y ofrece bastante más de lo que debería ofrecer como dote. And this man, Jacob, offers way more than he should be offering for, at that time, for a wife. Porque no quería ser rechazado. Because he didn't want to be rejected. Pero al mismo tiempo, but at the same time, cae mm -hmm. en las manos de un hombre que ve. He falls in the, of, in the hands of the man that he saw. Que tiene una debilidad. That he saw that he has a weakness. Y se aprovecha de ella. And he take advantage of it. Lo hace trabajar siete años. He makes them work seven years. Eh, durante estos siete años podemos definitivamente darnos cuenta que él no está junto con, le, con, con Raquel. We definitely can see in these seven years he's not um, being with Rachel. Eh, de pronto se miraban algunas veces. Um, you can see that maybe they will see each other. Pero a tal punto puedo asegurar que no se veían tan frecuente porque este hombre asegura que los años pasaron para él como días. But I can see and tell that they couldn't see themselves very frequently, Rachel and Jacob, because he also says that the years he was feeling like days. También por la desesperación que tenía estar con Raquel. And also because he was desperate for being with Rachel. Esto también puede reforzar el punto que dice que el amor es paciente. And this one is also um, a reinforcement to say the love is patient. Patient. Yeah, yeah, patient. Patient. <laughs> Paciencia, hermano. <laughs> wow, that's eh, a good example. Amen. Eh, love is patient. <laughs> Trabajan, le, le entregan a una mujer que no es Raquel. Laban gives give to Jacob and another woman that it's not Rachel. Eh, él se molesta por esta, por este engaño. And Jacob gets mad because he was, he was betrayed. Lo hacen trabajar por otros siete años. They may come to work on another seven years. El número siete sabemos que para nuestros señores y significa que es suficiente, o sea, hasta que es suficiente. We know the number seven is symbolized for our Creator that it's enough. Eh, el número siete que representa también el Shabbat, creo que es un número de amor. The number seven that also symbolizes Shabbat, also for me, I, I believe, the, it symbolizes love. Y Jacob lo está mostrando acá. Wow. And Jacob is showing it right now. Siete años trabaja por amor y después siete años otra vez por amor. He works seven years for love, and then he works in another seven years for love. Haciendo un poco a un lado a Jacob y a las personas de este evento. Uh, putting on the side Jacob and the persons with this situation. Está diciendo que hago todo por ti por amor dos veces. He is practically saying, I do for you everything okay. twice. Cuando el Señor... Dice una vez es que lo va a hacer. When God says one time he's going to do it. Cuando lo dice dos veces es porque definitivamente lo va a hacer. When God says it twice it's because definitely he is going to do it. Mostramos el número siete señalando el amor dos veces. Uh, we, we show the number seven showing um, 
For sure love. Y cuando él escapa de Labán. And when he escapes from Laban. Y Laban lo encuentra. And Laban finds him. Eh, él discute con Laban y le dice, trabajé por ti, eh, trabajé para ti siete, eh, 14 años por mi mujer. Uh, Jacob says, um, I've been working for you 14 years. I worked seven years for my wife. Y seis años por uh, las riquezas. So I work six years for the riches. El número seis está demostrando que es lo material. The number six is showing the material stuff. El número siete está demostrando que es lo espiritual. And the number seven is showing the spirit, um, mm. spiritual one. Entonces, eh, son poniendo ahora esto en conjunto. If we put it all together. Tenemos a... Tenemos un mensaje que nos dice primero que nuestra mente tiene que ser purificada. We have a message that says that our, our mind and our thoughts, they have to be purified. Para poder so contemplar la puerta. So we can see the door. Que definitivamente está abierta para nosotros con amor. That definitely it is open for us because of love. Y ese es mi pequeño mensaje el día de hoy. And that's my small message for the day of today. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. He, he has to stay. Yo me quedo. Because it's my turn. Ahora es tu turno. I'm not that loving. Yo no soy tan tan tierno. But I try to be very concrete. Voy a tratar de ser muy concreto. Um, and I write it, and my written is big, so if you see me doing all this, don't worry, it's very small. <laughs> Yo escribí algunas notas en mi cuaderno, y me ven que se cambió mucho, no se preocupen, porque son pequeñas notas. By itse. By itse. I don't know what it means in Hebrew. <laughs> Así que significa en hebreo. I don't know how to read and write Hebrew, no sé cómo escribir, ni leer en Hebrew. But I feel that I am part of God. Pero siento que soy parte del Señor. Just like you guys. Como ustedes. So, by it said, when I read it and um, when I did my search on my phone, by it said, cuando hice la búsqueda en mi teléfono, it says he, he went out. Significa que él salió. Okay. So I was reading everything todo. without getting out of the Torah because if no I can get like two different subjects and I'll probably keep kidnapping you guys to my house. So okay, I'm gonna talk about cycles. Voy a hablar de los ciclos. I'm going to talk about idolatry, Voy a hablar también sobre la idolatry and how to get out of that. Y cómo salir de la and um, practically this is not my, uh, I'm not putting my own thoughts. Prácticamente yo no estoy poniendo mis propios pensamientos. I'm using just biblical verses. Estoy utilizando solamente los versículos bíblicos. It's very interesting. Es muy interesante. Because I'm going to be using what I saw craziness on Genesis. A lot of people they say uh, ja Jacob he was also um, a dairy man because he was having different wives. Like cochino. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm gonna what I'm gonna see and what I see was names. Pero que yo vi nombres. A lot of bunch of names. Muchos nombres. Connected to feelings. Conectado a sentimientos. And connected to idolatry, sadly. Y conectado también a idolatry. Um and if you guys read it. Definitely, you guys 
can say, oh yeah, she's totally almost quoting the Bible. Si ustedes lo leen, se van a dar cuenta que ella está utilizando, van a pensar que está utilizando completamente la Biblia. So, I'm going to read what I write, so this here. Voy a leer lo que ya escribí. So, getting out of the cycle. Saliendo de los ciclos. So, I already mentioned idolatry, ya dreams, me, and promises. Ya mencioné idolatría, eh, sueños y promesas. Okay, Jacob had a dream. Jacob tuvo un sueño. He met his promise. Él se encuentra con su promesa. By the way, this promise it wasn't very repeated to his grandfather first. Eh, su promesa había sido. Ah, uh, ya se había repetido porque la tuvo con su abuelo. Ah, su promesa se estaba repitiendo porque él había tenido también su abuelo. So that means that Abraham had it. Eh, eso significa que Abraham lo tuvo. Isaac had it. Isaac lo tuvo. And now yet. Ahora, um, so there is the three. Ahí están los tres. Uh, interesting because in some way, um, also when they talk in the in the Bible about what it rhymes and the world and the heavens. E interesante porque también cuando está hablando de lo que reina, de lo que reina en la en el cielo, they put it in three. Ellos ponen so there you go. Uh, it starts in Genesis 28. Um, so it's very it's similar as to say the Jacob resting in the stone, Yeshua. Similar to what we mentioned Jacob was resting in the rock of Yeshua. And Genesis 28:11, if we're going. Si vamos al versículo 11 del capítulo 28 de Génesis. So in 28:11, so in 28:11 in Genesis, I'm going to read it from this Bible, such so as the complete Jewish. That yeah. means it's a little more. Um, Clear because I try to make it more kind of pure from Hebrew direct to English. Voy a leerlo de la versión bíblica que está en que alguien conserva algunas palabras en judío para hacerlo un poco más claro y más cercano al concepto original. So he came to a certain place and stayed in the night there because the sun had set. He took a stone from the place, put under in his head, and lay down there to sleep. He dreamed that there before him was a ladder resting on the ground with the stop reaching to heaven and the angels of Adonai were going up and down. That's until 12 and I'm going to continue. Cuando llegó a cierto lugar se detuvo para pasar la noche porque ya estaba anocheciendo. Tomó una piedra, la usó como almohada y se acostó a dormir en este lugar. Allí soñó que había una escalera apoyada en la tierra y cuyo extremo superior llegaba hasta el cielo Por ella subían y bajaban los ángeles del Señor. Pay attention on this. Pongan atención a esto. First thing he does, he get a he get a rock. La primera cosa que él obtiene es una roca. Second thing, he put it in his head. Lo pone en su cabeza. Thirteen, he start dreaming. Eh, empieza a soñar. Interesting, because Owen just said that Yeshua is the door, that Yeshua is the place. And the love. Okay. Interesante porque acaba de mencionar que el Señor es la puerta, el amor, y ese es el lugar. But if you read in the 13, Pero si lees en el verso 13, then suddenly God, or Adonai, was standing there next to him, and he said, I am Adonai, the God of Abraham, your grandfather, I am the God of Jesus. The land on which you are lying, I will give it to you and your descendants. Your descendants will be as numerous as the grains of the dust on the earth. You will expand to the west and the east, to the north, to the south. By you and your descendants, all the families of the earth will be blessed. Look. I am with you. I will ward you wherever you go, 
and I will bring you back to this land because I won't leave you until I have done what I have promised you. En el sueño el Señor estaba de pie junto a él y le decía, yo soy el Señor, el Dios de todo, abuelo Abraham y de tu padre Isaac, y a ti a tu descendencia le daré la tierra sobre la que estás acostado. Eh, tu descendencia será tan numerosa como el polvo de la tierra, te extenderás de norte a sur y de oriente a occidente, y todas las familias de la tierra serán benditas por medio de ti y de tu descendencia. Yo estoy contigo, te protegeré por donde quiera que vayas y te traeré de vuelta a esta tierra. No te abandonaré hasta cumplir con todo lo que te he prometido. So there it goes, the promise. La promesa. Then he woke up and he goes to the place. Él se levanta del lugar, se despierta. And he, Jacob, meets Rachel. Y ahora Jacob se, Jacobo se reúne con Raquel. And works seven years for her. Trabaja siete años por ella. And that's Rachel give the firstborn to Jacob such it was Leah. Okay. Y le dan, y le, le a Leah en vez de a Raquel. Y recibe, en lugar de recibir a Raquel, recibe a Leah. So Leah was the older sister. Leah era la hermana mayor. They said they're twins. Dice que eran gemelas. So, um, he has to work in another seven years él tiene que trabajar por siete años. Because he actually gave the honor to Lea, because he took. Lea porque así la tomó. He didn't love her. No la amaba. But he honored her. Pero la honró. This is very interesting. Esto es muy interesante. And um, that's two sevens, third se third number seven, so he repeats it. Eh, hay dos números siete y se vuelve a repetir. Because he waits seven days. Porque él esperó siete días. To get his promise. Para tomar su promesa. His love. Su amor. His Rachel. Su Raquel. Today is Shabbat. Hoy es Shabbat. Our seventh day of the week. El séptimo día de la semana. Today we have our love. Hoy tenemos nuestro amor. Today we have the moment to just stop and praise. Hoy tenemos el momento para detenernos y uh, orar. Adorar. Y adorar. It's interesting. Um, so, cycles. Let's see. Oh, ciclo, vamos a ver. Lea. Lea. She had a cycle too. Ella también tiene un ciclo. It was not her period, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but she had a personal cycle. Ella tuvo un ciclo personal. And it was idolatry to you. Y también hubo idolatría. This is the first idolatry that I'm going to mention today. Esta es la primera idolatría que voy a mencionar bien hoy. She had a personal cycle of idolatry. Ella tenía un, una, eh, un ciclo personal de idolatría. Because she was looking for the love of her husband. Porque está buscando el amor de su esposo. Um, she want to be loved by him. Ella quiere ser amada por él. But she didn't praise God for being fertile. Ella no estaba adorando al Señor por ser fértil. Yeah. Mm. And she named her first kids based on her situation. Ella nombró a su primer hijo basado en su situación. Remember, for Hebrew people, names can be a bless or a curse. Recuerden que para la gente real los nombres pueden ser una bendición o una maldición. This is very interesting because the number four a lot of people they don't mention. Es muy interesante porque el número cuatro muchas personas no lo mencionan. But guess what is showing here? Pero qué creen acá es en eso. And at the end I'm going to connect it. Y al final lo voy a conectar. Until she praised God. Hasta que ella adora al Señor. In her four baby, en su cuarto hijo, his name was Judah. Su nombre fue Judá. Did you know who came from that tribe? Se sabe quién vino de esa tribu. The Messiah. El Mesías. So, I'm gonna say, she prays until she prays God. She stopped having babies. That's what the Bible says. Hasta que ella oró al Señor, ella paró de tener hijos. Eso es lo que 
La palabra dice. So I see a cycle here right now. Estamos viendo un ciclo aquí ahora. If we go into Genesis 29, 31. Si vamos al capítulo 29. Verso 31. Verso 31 de Genesis. I'm just not going to read it, but I'm going to say what was the meaning of the feeling of this woman. Voy a decir qué es lo que significaba, lo que sentía esta mujer. She felt humiliation and affli affliction. Ella sentía humillación y aflicción. That was Reuben. Eso fue Reuben. I don't know if that tribe. No sé si esa tribu. Bring that to Israel. Trajo esto a Israel. Israel, uh, it was Jacob, but they changed the name to Israel when he decided to honor better God. Israel is the name that they have Jacob when they change their name to honor the Lord. Aún más. Aún más. Um, and then, um, she fell on love. Después ella se enamora. Desamor. Desamor? Desamor. On love. Oh, yeah, she that felt in love. And that's the name of Shimeo. Es de Shimeo. And that's in the chap in Genesis 29, 29.33. And then after in Genesis 29.35. Después en Genesis en verso 35 del capítulo 29. She has another son. Ya tuvo otro hijo. And this Bible says joining or putting together. Esta versión dice que los puso juntos. That means um, I am Mexican and some women want to keep their husbands by having a child. Ah, eso significa, bueno, por ejemplo, es dominicana y la forma en que pueden capturar a un hombre eh, es teniendo un hijo. Y de esa forma, pues, que no se quede con ellos. Giving them a lot of kids so they feel guilty, so they don't leave. Dejándole más hijos, de esa forma ellos se van a sentir culpables y no se van a ir. So, there you go. So, ahí vamos. When you are doing idolatry, that means you are putting yourself in another person that is not God. Cuando estás haciendo idolatría es cuando te pones a ti mismo o a otra persona en un lugar importante que no es el Señor. You get humiliation. Tú recibes humillación. You get affliction. Tú recibes aflicción. You feel unloved. Tú te sientes no amado. And you want to belong to that. Y tú quieres pertenecer a eso. Tú quieres pertenecer a eso. What do you mean belong to that? No, belong to that person. Be bound. Tú quieres unirte a esa persona. So the cycle of idolatry to a human goes as a result of all of these things. El ciclo de, de la idolatría al ser humano te lleva a todos estos sentimientos. Um, and the result of all these things also brings pain, sorrow, and grief. Three things. Y también el resultado de todo eso te trae tres cosas. Dolor, amargura, y... Y angustia. Y angustia. Once she looked at the stone, Yeshua, God, as Leah, she prays. And the love and restoration came. Why? Because it doesn't say that she was looking for having another kid, and it also does not mention more of her self-pityness. No uh, once you get restoration in love, no, once the we, um, envy comes. Yeah. Envidia. Envidia. Yeah. La envidia viene. And I can see that in Genesis 31. Eso lo puedo ver en el capítulo 30, versículo 1. Uh, envy shows up with um, Rachel. Y la envidia vino a Raquel. 
And it's funny because Rachel also was looking for idolatry. Es gracioso porque también Raquel estaba buscando básicamente la idolatría. Because if you read, they mention a lot of God and God because God it gives me the force because God this and that. Y si ustedes leen, dice que Dios es Dios, Dios me da fuerza, que Dios hace esto y lo otro. But if you look, look very closer, Pero si ustedes ven de cerca, they're talking about their own needs. Ellos están hablando de sus propias necesidades. What about the praise? ¿Dónde está la oración? What about to be a real woman and be a, a woman from Proverbs? ¿Dónde está el ser una realmente una buena mujer y ser una mujer de Proverbios? Well, this is continue very, very incredible weird. Esto se empieza a convertir todavía más uh, interesante. Because this is an another level of idolatry. Este es otro nivel de idolatría. This is when we are idolatry to leaders. Es cuando estamos dando la idolatría a líderes. Or idols. O ídolos. Um, people think that they're going to see a person that they're going to heal them. Hay personas que van a ver a otra persona pensando que ellos los van a sanar. Or they're going to get the praise that they want to receive. O ellos van a recibir la oración que ellos quieren recibir. Um, they can be, this type of idolatry can be human or not. Este tipo de un tipo de idolatría que puede ser humano o no humano. They can go for a little doll. O puede ir por un pequeño muñeco. A little stamp. Una estampa. A picture. Una foto. A memory. Una memoria. Um, a thought. Un pensamiento. Or also whatever that it's not God. O cualquier cosa que no es nuestro Señor. So she's asking for miracles, first thing. Pues ella está preguntando por milagros, la primera cosa. And you see, they actually, Jacob answers her and says, I'm not God. Y ve la respuesta de Jacob que le dice, yo no soy Dios. That means, if he, he, he say, he, he makes you sterile. Él dice, él te hizo sterile. It's not my fault. No es mi culpa. A lot of people they probably will feel rejected if somebody says if not have if it doesn't happen what you want. Algunas personas se van a sentir rechazados por no tener lo que quieren. But honestly, the praise is to our Creator. Pero honestamente, la oración solamente a nuestro Señor. Praise is praise. Um. And then after she take a really wrong decision. Y después toma una muy mala decisión. This is then another step. Ese es otro paso. Anger. Enojo. So, the decision it was revenge out of based of anger. La decisión fue una revancha basada en en el enojo. So she asked to have a child based within another woman. Ella pregunta para tener un hijo basado en poner a otra mujer en su lugar. So, it's interesting because Jacob, in some way, he said, well, she asked him, he did it. Es interesante porque Jacob fue preguntado por ella y él lo hizo. So, the names of the, the kids they had with Bilha, y los que tuvo con Bilha it will be he judge o no le, si va a ser el juez, and the other one is, will be my wrestling. Y el otro se me dice, mi lucha. Mi lucha. So, if you see, they're talking about feelings again. Si dan cuenta, está hablando otra vez de sentimientos. Bad feelings. So let's see. Um, I'm going to put it simple. No voy a ser más simple. Idolatry to a human or no human. Para un humano, un humano. 
because the beginning what Leah has and it was for herself because she was looking for the glory for herself. Okay, al principio le estaba buscando la gloria para ella misma. But Rachel here it was having idolatry to a human such as her husband. <coughs> and she was mentioning God that she was looking for a response for the husband to something. So it brings judgment. Revenge brings judgment and wrestling or fight. But really she really thinks that her wrestling it was getting won. But she was not still be able to get pregnant. Where was her faith on then? ¿Dónde estaba su fe? But revenge and judging. Pero revancha y juicio. juicio. Uh, brings competence. Trae competencia. Oh, and another cycle. Otro ciclo. Um, and it brings more bad decisions. Trae muchas malas decisiones. This one has to deal with idolatry with things. Esto tiene que ver con idolatría hacia cosas. Uh, because they named another kid. Porque ellos nombraron otro niño. And this one is because Leah wants to compete with her sister doing the exact same wrong thing, putting her husband exposed to sin. Eh, porque Leah hace lo mismo que hizo Raquel, poniendo a su esposo exponiéndolo a un pecado. And they named the first kid. Y nombraron al primer niño. Fortune. Mm. Fortuna. <coughs> and then happiness. Think about it. Fortune and happiness. Fortuna y alegría. The world is selling this. El mundo está vendiendo esto. If you are rich, si eres rico, you will be happy. Vas a ser feliz. But it's the cycle of competence. Es en, es el ciclo de la competencia. And if we go in more to towards the beginning goes to ending. Si vamos otra vez al principio, eso se vuelve también envidia. So where is God? ¿Dónde está el Señor? Where is love? ¿Dónde está el amor? Um, this is an another thing. Esto es otra cosa. When we rely. Cuando nosotros. Yes. Nos respaldamos. Um, and and things that we already kind of know. And cosas que tal vez ya conocemos. Remember, these two women, they're committed idolatry. Recuerden que estas dos mujeres estaban cometiendo idolatría. And some time ago. Y algún tiempo atrás. Uh, somebody says that idolatry is same as adultery against God. Y alguien estaba diciendo que la idolatría también es adulterio en contra del Señor. Mm -hmm. So, this story does not finish that way. Esta historia no termina de esa forma. Because Reuben, Porque Reuben means significa the humiliation and affliction, la humillación y la aflicción, found a fruit. Que encuentra la fruta, a mandrake fruit. Mandragoras, frutas y mandragoras. Um, I was studying because I didn't know nothing about mandrake fruit. Yo no sabía nada respecto a las mandragoras. Estuve investigando. And it says in that time, <coughs> this fruit, it was an idol for fertility. Mm. O oh, dice que en ese tiempo esta fruta era un ídolo para la fertilidad. And she was looking through a fruit estaba buscando por una fruta through some something already created by the almighty algo creado por el grandísimo algo creado por el, por el grande el grandísimo señor to be able to get pregnant para para estar embarazada 
para poder quedar embarazada. This is was the woman. This was the promise that was given to Jacob. Esta fue la promesa que se le ha dado a Jacob. Not the fertility, Rachel. No la fertilidad, Raquel. Because he loved her. Porque la amaba. But because out of this idolatry, pero por este idolatría, por el estilo de idolatría, Lea rents Jacob. Ella paga la renta por Jacob. So there we go. Let's go pay the price. Okay, vamos a leer. Vamos a pagar el el precio. Lea has another two kids. Lea tiene otros dos niños. And he has Isaacar. Que puede Isaacar. Such is a price. Okay, it's good as premier. And also has Zabulon. Y también está Zabulon. Such is living together. Que es vivir juntos. Wait a minute. Un minuto. So he, she wants for sure have the man living with her. Mm. And that was the sixth kid. And then she had the seventh kid. This is the fourth seventh. This is the fourth seventh. Dina, a woman. Dina, la mujer. It's very interesting. Es muy interesante. Because after Dina, porque después de Dina, Lea stopped having kids. Lea ya no pudo tener más hijos. Probably she find out the beautiful of life. De alguna manera ella se dio cuenta de la belleza de la vida. Probably to having an, an another woman. Just like her. And maybe this is my thought. She realized that she didn't want Dina living the pattern that she was living. Because in said the Bible says it stopped to having kids okay. after the seven children and it was a woman. Eh, porque dice que después de el séptimo hijo le había no tuvo más hijos que solo de la palabra y esta este hijo fue una mujer. Um, but the story doesn't end there. Pero la historia no termina ahí. Because then after forgiveness came. Porque después el perdón vino. How I say this? ¿Qué digo esto? Because Rachel was able to have a son. Porque Raquel tuvo la oportunidad de tener un hijo. And she named him y el Joseph. Nombró, José. That means forgiveness. Y que significa el perdón. And also it means y God saw my disgrace. Y también significa el Señor. Dios tomó mi desgracia. It's interesting. Es bien interesante. Because she's still thinking in her feelings. Porque ella seguía pensando en esos sentimientos. But she also called forgiveness. Pero ella también le llamó perdón. And also shows in another type of um, and another type of things. También nuestra otros tipos de cosas. But I wanted to talk about these women. Pero quería hablar de estas mujeres. Because it's no, yeah, it can be really hard being in their position. Porque puede ser muy difícil estar en esas posiciones. I don't want the person that I love to be sharing with my sister. Y no quiero a la persona que amo estar compartiendo con mi hermana. Yeah. And I don't want to share the one that I love, knowing that it does not love me. Tampoco quiero que la persona que me ama no me ame. But to find out how to get out of it, idolatry is very simple. 
para finalizar cómo podemos salir de la idolatría es muy simple. Look to these women. Miremos a estas mujeres. First, Primero, give him to the glory. Dar la gloria al Creador. That means Judah. That means the Messiah. Seek for his forgiveness. That means Joseph. Buscar por su perdón. Que es José. And at the end of the story, story, actually, I don't see in any way Jacob committing idolatry. No, de ninguna forma a Jacob cometiendo idolatría. And uh, but also he was doing everything that they've been asking him to do. Pero también estaba haciendo todo lo que él preguntaba que hiciera. And it's interesting because they say at the end, if we go in by the last part of the Torah portion and the New Testament. Porque es interesante, al final si vamos a la última porción de, de la Torah portion que está en el Nuevo Testamento. It talks about the dream again. Habla de nuevo del sueño. And it says, and go back to the origin with the rock. It is the regress from origin with the rock. Such is love. Es el amor. Justice. Justicia. And trust. Y confianza. It's very interesting. Es muy interesante. Because if you don't seek love, justice, and trust. Without God. Porque si ustedes no, no esperan. ¿no? Porque si tú no buscas amor, justicia y confianza en el Señor, He, if you are doing it without giving the honor and the praise to God. Lo estamos haciendo sin darle el honor y la adoración al Señor. It will be idolatry. Va a ser idolatría. So. All the idolatry was shown and resumed. And a lot of pain. And that is not the spirit of the fruit, the fruit of the spirit. Where is joy? Where is love? Where is faith? Remember the Messiah was here. And if you don't read this, and if you don't really search for the answer inside of here, But you get this really nice notebook with notes of a human person. I don't care how wise, how smart, how bright is that person. But if you're taking it as it is true without reading this, without making sure that this filter is Loyal and is real with this thing. They're together and it's the same thing and it goes to the same stuff. Sí, pasarlo por el filtro que es la palabra y confías más en esto que la palabra. I'm sorry, but you are committing idolatry. Lo siento, pero estás cometiendo idolatría. You are an adulteress. Estás en adulterio. Be careful. Cuidado. Thankfully. This Torah portion. Gracias al Señor esta porción de Torah. It shows what to do to get out of it. Muestra lo que tenemos que hacer para salir de la idolatría. Praise Him. Adorémosle. Look for His forgiveness. Busquemos por su perdón. See the rock. Ver la roca. That means the Messiah. Que significa el Mesías. Look for the love of the one. Who deserves it? Buscar por el amor quien realmente lo merece. 
And the one in the surface is the one it created inside of the womb of your mother. No one else. Nothing else. So, please, wherever you go, wherever you stand, respect and honor everyone. Because everyone is the face of your Creator. Amen. Because every single one that you see has something to teach you that you don't know. Amen. Absolutely. But if they teach you something that is not in here, mm. and it does not give you the fruits of the Holy Spirit, and you believe that, if they look at be careful. So, I want to pray um, to closing and asking for her forgiveness and union to the body. Because it's not fair that we are putting our feelings, our thoughts, our whatever smartness we think we are, before the word of our Creator. So, Father, please forgive us. We praise you. And we glorify you. And we declare that without you, we wouldn't be nothing. Thank you because we are part of a really amazing body. And united, we can grow and turn into the beautiful. The most beautiful creation that you always loved. Siempre amaste. And you came and flesh showing us in our own type of body that it is possible that it is possible to live it is possible to love it is possible to forget it is possible to reconnect it is possible to read the whole entire Bible without excuses. Es posible leer toda la Biblia sin excusas. Thank you, Father. And thank you, Father. Y te agradecemos, Señor. Because as we see these two women, de la forma que vemos estas dos mujeres, Rachel and Leah, Raquel y Leah, they've been committing idolatry. Nos cometieron idolatría. But your mercy will be, it was there all the the time. You keep giving them kids. And you keep waiting for them. Even though, a pesar, that they are not faithful to you, God. Que no eran fieles a ti. They still got blessed and get killed kids. Ellos todavía fueron bendecidas y tuvieron hijos. A pesar de nuestro error, no matter, but even with their mistake. Thank you, Father. Gracias, Padre. Because you keep us in your mercy in your love in, tu amor, in your forgiveness in tu and there is nothing else y no nada más than praise you y adorarte, and obey you y and love you y remember 
the first commandment. Love and honor God of all of the things. Amen. Amen. Thank you.